Here's Chris Crocker's Weekend Football Forecast. 700 ESPN. 1080 ESPN. Did they change my open? They, Steve, did we change the open? I'm sorry, I was busy, so I didn't hear it. Let's play it, <laughs> play it again. I think they took the... Because she believes there's more than one way oh, to Oh, no, turn, d- turn it off, turn it off. Oh. I didn't hear it. Okay, hear I missed it. it, it. it no, I did not want to hear it twice. <laughs> we can change that if you're uncomfortable <laughs> with that. Is it? It's going to be the ski forecast before long. I know, and you yeah. never know what's going to happen I with know, that one. I'm thinking of that. I can think of um, one right now that I'm not even going to go with, no, so okay. it just completely oh, get us all fired. Okay. Maybe not you, but okay. Oso would go with me. Oh, That's I can just... think of so many good ones. Yeah. But no. <laughs> okay, just let's move right on. Football forecast. Thanks for being here. How Hi, are you? I'm great. Awesome. Of course Friday. you are. It's, we had one of the greatest Halloween that weather-wise was... in a long time. That was a great Halloween. Uh, boy, warm. Yes. I actually saw costumes this year. Yes. Instead of everybody dressed up as a Michelin man. <laughs> oh, yeah. and it, Yeah, fantastic. A few sprinkles, but otherwise, yeah, fantastic Halloween. I definitely enjoyed answering the door with no threat of getting heckled by the youngers. So when, when, when it's snowing on Halloween, you don't answer the door at your house? You have somebody else do it for you? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I I do it. They're just not as friendly. <laughs> they might come back and egg my house. So I have to make sure I have you know the full size candy bars and. You're a you full know. size gal too. I uh, you know I am. This year I didn't get to the store. I had little ones, but I gave them like a handful, handful. of little okay. ones. Right. I overdo it. I feel like that is graffiti insurance, or you know, not that my neighbor kids would ever do anything. Uh, you know. But, uh, yeah, I feel like that is insurance because who would egg the house of the lady who's given out great big candy bars or oh. paintball the house? That's one of my, you know, Ooh, they that's, I've never. Well, they I live on a busy street and they'll come by with the paintball. I stopped putting ideas in people's heads. Oh, sorry. Don't. Oh, what is that? Chris is. Oh. Oh, a little, your microphone. Either that or Steve's. Oh, I thought, oh, my mic is hot. I but, thought, but Steve, I'm was, hot. That Dang. was also, <laughs> Also Ms. Crocker is uh, uh, super smoking gosh, hot. Today. I was really Just taking the that a as a compliment hot, yeah. there for a minute. Now, uh, Crocker, you were, on, you were on our Facebook page earlier oh, this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Unusual photo. Uh, many thought was photoshopped, and no, it wasn't. It was just that horrible of a, of a thought. Uh, what was it like sharing the anchor desk with uh, Mr. Wingman there? I think Wingman uh, was, seemed quite at home there on the anchor desk. I think he should just... Stop, stop. Stop right now. Just keep, keep it. Come on. Let, let's hear a little more here. A little more here. Yeah. That picture did look Photoshopped. It though, did. And I don't know why. I, none of us can figure it out, but it looked like it was Photoshopped. But maybe because Steve never wears a suit to work. He, he looked quite striking. He looked yeah. like one of the news team, like the eyewitness news team. Yeah. Striking was not the word I had come up with, so. Speaking of striking, a lot of people are golfing this weekend. I know. What's up with that? Striking we don't, we're not the doing ball. the golf forecast anymore. I know, but its temperatures are in the mid-50s Saturday and Sunday. Our average high now is in the 40s, so we're more than five degrees above average. Wow. And it's going to be kind of like what you see is what you get, like we saw today, a mix of sun and clouds, more clouds than sun to be sure, and wouldn't rule out an isolated sprinkle. I tried to sprinkle a little bit today, but for the most part, dry. So uh, good raking weather, good football watching weather, good golfing weather. Is it? How's the wind going to be? Because I mean, no problem. Wow. No, not windy. So it, it'll and, be just and high, like today. And high 50s, is that what you got there? Mid 50s. Mid 50s. 55 Saturday. 56 Sunday. And with those clouds, the mornings are going to be, our average morning low now is 33. No, oh, quiet. But, Stop it. Uh, I know, but 42. I, I tell you to shut up, but that's not very nice. <laughs> so, it's not your fault. 42 tomorrow morning, 44 Sunday morning. So it's super mild. We're just. We're just it's setting us up for the a dream. kick in the I teeth. I don't know. Well. I don't know about that. No, you've ch- last week you said you weren't sure. Now you're I'm a little not, more sure. I'm not. Sh- I'm not sure. It you, is. I am, feel like I'm going into this winter with a blank slate. My hunch still is just sort of average, but I I 
keep searching for things to hang my hat on on that, and there's nothing indicating one way or the other. My wife, the art teacher, says blank slates are good. <laughs> yes. Yes, apparently not in the weather business. They're not well, good. Well, I, I, they, people tend to look to me for <laughs> some answers, and I don't have many answers. I do have a – there's some woolly caterpillar knowledge in my uh, email. I got an email from somebody saying the woolly caterpillars are doing something that would indicate it's going to be – um, a bad winter, but that's all I have to go on right now. Okay. The woolly, the woolly caterpillar <laughs> yes. theory. This is accurate as the uh, farmer's almanac that's printed in March. Uh, yeah. Theory. The um, year in advance. All right. We got a lot of people heading to high school football games. Mm-hmm. If they're not now, they're on their way. What's the, what's it going to be like tonight? Are we going to need ponchos? Are we going to need rain gear? I don't think so. It, like I say, if you, you may run into a, a rogue sprinkle, but I really doubt it. Uh, for the most part, let me just double check down around Pullman would be the only question. No, uh, dry tonight and uh, cloudy. So it's not that temperature is not going to drop much from what it is right now. We're going to be, you know, 40s, 50s, upper 40s, 50s at game time and through the game. That's not bad at all. No. We now we, Idaho, we don't, wor- right, we don't worry about Idaho because they're inside and the Cougars are in Utah. And I looked, I looked at Utah and it's like supposed to be in the 60s. Oh, yeah. In Salt Lake City, so we don't have to worry about them. But Eastern, got a sold-out crowd. Do you need the rain gear tomorrow afternoon? I don't think so, no, because, like I say, if you... <laughs> I just, Sideline a, reporter nice Keith Oso with a fist, fist pump. pump. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that was a made putt fist pump. That's what that was, absolutely. Uh, I, I'd forgotten what that was. I don't make putts. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. Uh, Eastern game, yeah. yes. You know, if, if we do see anything, it's going to be one of those things that you don't even notice that it is sprinkling until you see a couple of dots on the windshield or you look down at your windbreaker and notice there's like three raindrops. That kind of rain. Like getting spit on, really. Exactly. And a, that's just a possibility. A for the car most part wash dry. ruined rain. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, um, Scott texting, Chris, what about the presidential election with weather? Oh, my goodness. The presidential election with weather. I saw something funny about that. About uh, I can I I shouldn't tell a political joke here, should I? <laughs> so let's sports let's show, just you move can tell. on. Let's you can just tell. move on. Did you did you um, did you research? Remember we talked about election <gasps> years. No, I didn't. Okay. I feel bad about that. Can Matt, I come do a special election weather on election sure, day? Sure, if you want to, or save it for next week. But okay. Maybe it's the forecast focus for election day. Election day. Okay, I'm writing that down. That be... I'll only have about 30 seconds on election day, That's though, true. unless there's Here's a your forecast hurricane. Forecast. I'm out. <laughs> forecast I'm not, focus. Uh... My are you kidding me is we have no time for you. And I go, are you kidding me? And yeah. they laughed. And I go, no, seriously. Are maybe, you... <laughs> yeah. No, I have no time. I no, will do it out. on Monday. Okay. That's a great one. And I, t- I wrote all that down and I completely forgot. So I'm going to do election year. Yes, election year at Winters. We have a theory out there. Gentlemen, let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that to- on Monday. Okay. One other thing, and we keep an eye on this as we're transitioning into the skiing season. How how did the rain that we got the mm. other day affect the, the ski resorts? Just a little bit of a setback. Because um, it was raining up there then. It was raining yeah, up there. This no is good. kind of subtropical moisture that's coming in and you – where before it say it was 40 degrees here in town it got cold very quick with altitude the air so it snowed easily up there this is a deep layer of warm air so it goes all the way up uh so you know i can't i was counting chickens before they were kind of hoping uh, to get on the slopes before thanksgiving weren't you i just if i could get on thanksgiving that is great but we got a lot of a lot of november to make up for lost time so all right we got we got plenty of time it can get cold here and uh, the snow has come i just i got a feeling i don't know what what is your feeling we're gonna get crushed we are going to get pounded this. Maybe if I, maybe I'm like Steve the Wingman. If he thinks the Mariners are going to lose, they win. So maybe if I think <laughs> we're going to get crushed, I just we just ha- we've gone too many easy winners down here in the valley. I I would tend to agree with you, but I don't know, yeah. man. It's uh, this is a weather's changing. I mean, look at what's going on on the East Coast. That was creepy. Uh, with uh, How wide that there. storm was. Yeah, and the strange path that it took where it came back in. And I understand why, but at the same time, 
how unusual. And, uh, it's you know, things are changing on the climate, I'll tell you. On a much lighter note, if I may, can I tell you about something I'm doing? We're, you know what? I was, I was going to make a lighter note and say, well, where that hurricane first hit land, I missed by two weeks. Oh, my goodness. We, uh, but, we, but, we, but we that's got a lighter note because another... that's where I was. Hour and oh. <laughs> 47 minutes. So you got plenty of time. Tell your story. Okay. Um, during the 11 in the month of November, I think that your listeners will appreciate this. I am celebrating I inland. I saw this last night. <laughs> inland Northwest facial hair with the beard of the night. So every night after the seven day, I will have a picture of, I think just men. I, I really hope. <laughs> can we? Can we? Can we I just really make that a hope rule, just men. Can we? Yeah, yeah let's for make sure. It a rule. I'm getting. Yeah, I've had That's, all kinds of comments. Yes. How, about but, if I, how about if I don't shave um, for a month? Yeah, don't shave for a month, and it's the beard of the night. And so I've I, last night's beard was incredible. Yes. It's on the Pinterest page if you go to the kick. So I know. Uh, yeah. Now isn't isn't. There, isn't there some reason you're supposed to grow a beard in November? Well, you know, it. yeah, it's Movember or No Shave November nationally is to draw attention to men's health issues. Okay. Locally, the Spokane Beard and Mustache Foundation, great group of guys taking new members. Come join the fun. There's a Spokane Beard and Mustache Foundation. Yes, okay. yes. Just, and a, they are the, they have a website. They are the greatest guys. They have a website. Okay. They have a Facebook page. These guys have serious and, beards, by the way. Oh, my they'll, gosh. They'll show up with what I'm supporting. No, up but no, they welcome all. In fact, uh, when I went to their, they had a party on Saturday at Scout downtown, and a lot of guys came clean shaven because they're then they want to show yeah. what they can do in a month's time. I can't. And they're having like a big party, uh, a contest on December 1st, a beard contest at ugly betty's and you know anybody's welcome but and they have like 12 12 or 13 different categories there's like a freestyle beard Is there bad mustache contest? there's a there's mustaches if there's a bad there's mustache contest i'm in all mustaches are good no there's they're six not. inches and long uh, <laughs> and uh, anyway uh and I, i'm gonna do that so you need to, you need to let it. people know Dennis Patchen is on it. I'm. I will not shave for the entire month. Okay, and uh, let me. Say, I forgot to tell you locally because is when gonna you be allowed to do that. They identify. I don't know. I have to. I have to find out if I can. If I. If I. You know what? If Dennis I do Patchen, my. If uh, I do my. Are you kidding me? On Monday on that subject. Yes, because a lot of NFL teams are letting their hair right. grow, and one of our beloved sponsors here, Zero Res is sponsoring this Beard and Mustache Foundation fundraiser. Really? Isn't Jeremy Sporting a pretty good mustache right now? He was doing he, he trimmed it up a little yes. bit. Did he? Because yeah, that yeah. was pretty He nice. was at the party. Okay. And he will be there. Okay, so anyway, they just have I I think this is great. Are you going to talk about this on TV tonight? No. No, but they'll have the Beard of the Night. Oh, I'll no, have the not Beard of the Night so at 11. When, so when you do the Beard of the Night, say, I do talk a little bit of it. Oh, do you want me to yes, tennis patch? Yes. I will. I will. I'm going to write that down because, wow. you know, my memory. Talk about me, Chris. No, 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 no. Talk no. about no, me. I it's a if, challenge. I figure Chris, if, Crocker, if Crocker does this for me, it helps down the road. Oh, oh well, that's, I, that's true. It does. That does carry some weight to it. I, you all, I think if you, uh, yeah, if you walk through the newsroom, you will notice that there are some gentlemen trying to sneak some facial hair in like i wouldn't do that. i won't I would, identify them i would go, i would do my are you well, kidding me you on monday get away with the, <laughs> to let people know that i'm going to do this okay. for awareness and i will talk okay. about it throughout the month and just real quick locally they identified because my good friend rick lukens is advancing in age and i want him to have <laughs> a good health <laughs> uh, yes wow. yeah go get your digital exam but locally, they have identified. I I didn't know what that meant for a very long time, by the way. Oh, it's high tech. Yeah, let's um, just hope it's one digit. It's uh, oh. they're helping local veterans. There's a place called even the, better. Yeah, it's called the Vets Garage. You go to vetsgarage.org, and it's a garage where local veterans can go work on cars, get help with their post traumatic stress syndrome. You know. Brother we, and sisterhood, and we should have a 700 ESPN Pinterest page with beards. I, you know what, I have started one. You have one. I have one, but where I, is it? It's at, if you go to the KXOY, it okay. lives on the KXOY Pinterest page. Okay. It's called Beard of the Night. 
All right. And kind of yeah. like kind of like race of the night. Got any bump to pass? That beards? should be one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm learning a lot about beards. You know what they call me? I uh, there's a term for women who are like beards, but beard curious. Really? Yes, I'm beard. <laughs> Get your hubby to grow one. He won't. I and I am I I dig I dig beards. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Good if for I you. see how, how a do you gentleman, feel, how do you feel about white ones? I I, I just like yeah I like them all. Because mine is about as white as Santa Claus. Well, right that now. is that you know that's a good thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. I, I it's distinguished. I couldn't grow one when my hair was. If a I had color. a gray beard, that would be a problem. But you yes. know, you can get away with or it. Or any yes. colored beard. Let's I know. Just, <laughs> let's just clarify. You're but, lucky. You got blonde hair. You're lucky you don't have a red beard. I my have bro- blonde hair. <laughs> my brother has a red beard. It's gray now, but he had a red beard. He had bl- his blonde hair. Oh, my goodness. All right. So that's the uh, the beard of the night. The beard check, of the night. And oh, check for it. if you've got a great, a, be- a nice beard or mustache that you're proud of, send me an email. It's chrissy at kxy.com. And you could be the beard of the night. Look, I will tell you the competition is a little tough. You've got a... Fabulous. Yes, you do. Keith. No. You have a nice beard. No. But if there is a bad mustache contest, I'm going. Well, I think because I will shave he sports this off. the Adam Morrison. Oh, no. Adam Morrison sports the Oso. Okay. <laughs> I did it first. Let's, just, let's clarify. I have I have physical evidence that I did it first, but no, it's terrible. It is absolutely There's awful. a picture of me over there with a beard. You can look at oh, it later. What? This one? Right here? No. Old yeah, ID. Right yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, Oldness. my yeah. gosh. That is, you look like. You look like Jim Morrison there, the long hair. That that is a good look. See, I dig that. That's like I'm. That is like kind of Eddie Vedder. Um, oh man, I wish this wasn't radio. I wish this wasn't radio. Yeah, I did, yeah, I like I like beards. All right, hair. there you go. So you know something about Chris Crocker. You learn something every day. The two things you learned about Chris: she digs beards, and you don't have to worry about taking a jacket or rain gear oh, tonight much more important. or tomorrow. And you might be able to squeeze in your last round of golf this weekend sure. as well. Yeah. All right. I may do that. I'm not going to do that. Thanks I, for, I ended on a good note. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Chris Crocker here every Friday with the weekend uh, football forecast. And very shortly at the end of the month, we'll transition into the uh, uh, Chris Crocker Ski Report. And mm-hmm. we do have a sponsor for that. Oh. We'll tell you who that is That's coming ex- up I'm at excited the end of the month. That. All right. Chris, thank you for being here.